Welcome to another video. I am the Starman. Now, have you ever seen a shooting star? Well, you might just be in luck because we have got the Perseid meteor shower coming up in August, folks. Yeah. Now, I said shooting star. Now, they're not actually stars moving across the sky. We don't see st stars. Do not move across the sky. They are fixed in the sky for all we can see anyway but a shooting star is actually another way of describing a meteor now a meteor is actually a tiny tiny grain of dust a speck of dust interstellar dust that when the earth travels around the sun these specks of dust come into the atmosphere and when they do they burn up and they look spectacular as they fly across the sky i have seen hundreds of them if you look at the thumbnail of this video that was me in wales as a fireball meteor passed over the sky and that went right across Wales. It went over Wales and it went over Ireland. Yeah, and I had that picture published in what, an Irish magazine. Yeah, absolutely spectacular. Now that was a bit of an exception because that was a fireball. Now that was probably more like a stone or something like that. But you do get the odd meteor that turns out into a fireball like that one. Now, most of them, like I say, are little specks of dust and when they burn up in the atmosphere, they look amazing. Now, the Perseid meteor shower is a particular meteor shower that happens in August every year. Now, the reason why it does happen regularly is because as the Earth goes around the sun, it goes through the tails of previous comets that have come around, like even Halley's Comet is, is one of the tails that uh, causes a meteor shower. Now, the, the comet in question for the Perseids is called Swift-Tuttle. It's a 133-year period comet, and the, we, the Earth goes into the tail of that comet once a year in August, and it's when it goes into the tail of that comet that the dust, the dust from that comes into our atmosphere and causes these meteors which we call Perseids and the reason why we call them Perseid meteors is because they radiate from the constellation of Perseus and that means they come from a particular part of the sky that you can recognize you can say Perseus if you look for Perseus I'll just show you on the screen now on Stellarium where Perseus is it'll be towards the northeast so if you can trace a shooting star or a meteor back to that constellation, then you know that you've got a Perseid meteor shower. Now it peaks on Saturday, or should I say Saturday and Sunday night, this coming weekend. Now the absolute peak I would say is probably going to be on Sunday morning, which is great because it's at the weekend, most of us probably won't be working. You want to be out on Saturday night from say 11 o'clock when it gets dark and you want to be looking you don't want to be looking towards the constellation of Perseus. You really want to be looking anywhere in the sky. I would probably suggest 90 degrees away from the radiant. And like I say, into Sunday morning, that's the 13th, there's a very good chance of seeing quite a few of these Perseid meteors. And remember, if you can trace the trail in the sky, if you manage to see one, if you can trace it back to that constellation, that'll be towards the northeast. Uh, then you know that it's a Perseid. And don't forget the rating will get higher as the morning progresses. And there's no moon in the way this year, which is fantastic. I'm just showing you some pictures on the screen now of previous meters that I've captured. And yet there's no moon in the way like there was last year. I was at a star party last year up in Pilling and it was amazing. There was loads of us there and we saw loads of Perseid meters. It was absolutely amazing. It, I mean, honestly, when I see one of these meters, I never get bored of seeing meteors. I'm really, really excited when you see something like that. So the best chance to see, see them is to go somewhere dark, get out, get away from street lights, Go to somewhere dark if you can, go to a dark sky site, get in a park or somewhere. Try to get away from light and don't look at your phone or try not to look at your phone. Turn the brightness down on your phone. Make sure that your eyes are adapted to the dark sky to give you a much better chance of seeing these meteors. If you want to know how to take pictures of them, I'll give you a link in the description and I'll also give you a link at the end of this video to a, an earlier video about a different meteor show where I give you tips on how you can photograph these meteors. They are pretty hard to photograph, but as you can see, I've managed to get quite a few pictures 
uh, during the years. And the way that you can tell that you've captured a meteor is if you look at the meteor, it normally burns in different colors. It normally comes through with like greens, reds. I'm just showing you one on the screen now. A really, really nice meteor. This a Perseid meteor right through the Milky Way as well. But look at that, you can see the colors of it. Now, one thing you might get mixed up with this if you sometimes get a picture of a satellite now satellites are always moving across the sky in fact they look like stars that move across the sky satellites people get confused and they think they've got a meteor because they've got this line going across the sky when in fact it's just a satellite now the way that you tell a satellite is that a satellite is a constant white line there's no color in a satellite trail and it tends to start and stop very suddenly. So that's how you can tell a satellite from a meteor. A meteor is kind of like a rough trail, but it has color in it. And that's where you know you've captured a meteor because you might capture quite a few of them without actually seeing them. But if you manage to see something like that one that I saw in Wales, that fireball down in Wales, well, there's going to be no, no problem capturing that with a camera as long as you, you, you're taking a picture at the time. I just so happened to be lining up a picture of myself with the Milky Way and I happened to catch that amazing fireball across the sky. So there you go, the Perseid Beatty Shower, folks. It peaks on Sunday morning, the 13th. If you go out on Saturday night from around 11 o'clock when it gets dark, and at any time after it gets dark, should be fine. It's better earlier into the morning. Give your eyes chance to adapt and also don't forget if you don't get them on that night it doesn't matter too much if, if, if you go out on the Friday night or, or even on the Sunday night after the peak because there's still plenty of time to see them the the, the actual meteor shower is active uh, for most of the month so you might you have a heightened chance of seeing them all month you don't have to be out on the night of the peak but as I said the best time is on Sunday morning. Certainly this weekend, it's going to be a good time to be out. Whether it's Friday, Saturday or Sunday, you're going to have a good chance, a heightened chance of seeing shooting stars or, or should I say, meteors flying across the sky. And don't forget that link I put in the description if you want to find out how to capture them on camera. Anyway, I wish you luck in capturing meteors and I might do a follow-up video to this uh, if it does any good and uh, we'll see if we can go out and capture some this week you never know before it even gets started so anyway hope you like this video and i will see you again on the next one and don't forget to keep looking up